Okay, we're gonna talk about how to lose weight fast. This is like the most common question people ask me. Um, and, and by the way, just so you know, I went through a fat phase myself. In my mid-30s, I got fat. I never thought I was gonna be fat. I was really athletic when I was young. I was student athlete of the year at Stanford University, and I always considered myself, you know, top 1% of fitness. All of a sudden, my mid-30s, I got really fat, 50 pounds or more overweight. I was weighing 220 pounds. And I'm like, how did that happen? How could this happen to me? It's not, it maybe happens to other people, it shouldn't happen to me. And what happened was I was trying to do two fellowships at once. I wasn't sleeping enough. We just had a baby at home, my wife and myself. And so I was sleep deprived and I compensated by drinking like seven cups of coffee at that time, kind of a crazy lifestyle. I didn't realize it sort of in my mid, early to mid thirties. Anyway, so then I tried to lose the weight for about uh, three years and I couldn't do it. And I'm like, what, how could this happen? I've got as good a willpower as it gets. And I'm, and you know, I tried exercise more and eat less. Everybody knows that, but that doesn't work. And the reason is your brain's like a thermostat, like a set point, and you got to readjust the set point. And the only way to readjust the set point is to change what you eat. You have a hunger center in your hypothalamus in the arcuate nucleus, for example, and you will eat exactly the amount of food that you currently eat if you try to just do it with exercise more and eat less. You can't change it. You might do it for a month or two or three, but then you're gonna start binging again and go back to your fat ways. So I'm gonna show you how to lose weight fast and keep it off. I've kept it off now, gosh, that was like about 17 years ago. All right, if you eat healthy, it's actually easy to do, but you gotta eat healthy. All right, so what's the secret? The most important thing you could know to maintain a healthy body weight the rest of your life, eat starch. A starch is also called a complex carbohydrate. That means a plant food that has fiber in it and carbohydrates. And starch basically means a polymer of glucose, okay? That's a good thing to remember, a polymer of glucose. Glucose is the good sugar, all right? The bad sugar is, is processed fructose, is the really bad sugar, all right? All right, but when, uh, also if you hear anybody saying carbs, that means they're, they're, they don't know what they're talking about. They're ignorant or they're stupid, okay? Never say carbs. Anybody who says the word carbs, that makes me cringe because it's totally ignorant. Fructose, industrial fructose makes you fat and sick, okay? Whereas starch makes you healthy. Simple sugars in small amounts, you know, sucrose is a combination of fructose and glucose. And fruits do have some fructose in them where they come packaged with a little bit of fiber, and at least some vitamin C and whatnot. But what I'm trying to say, saying carbs is like saying night day. My favorite time is night day. It's stupid, okay? So I don't even use that word. All right, so what are the starches? Rice. Look at people who eat a primarily rice-based diet. In China, when they used to eat, you know, about 80% rice-based diet, they're all skinny. Nowadays, they're eating meat and fast food and junk food. There's tons of fat Chinese people, okay? Beans. Beans is all the blue zones. Look at Dan Butner, National Geographic. All the blue zone populations ate, I don't know, about a cup or more of beans every day. They, they really satisfy hunger with a few uh, calories. Why is starch so good, by the way? Because they satisfy hunger with the fewest number of calories. Their low caloric density, which stretches your stomach, provides early satiety, satisfaction of hunger. Then in the intestine, your intestine has to spend a lot of time peeling off the fiber before the glucose from the starch polymer of glucose um, that glucose is separated and can be absorbed from your gut to your blood. And it maintains a normal blood glucose a prolonged amount of time. You feel good. And you satisfy your hunger with the fewest number of calories, so you're skinnier. And um, you're less prone to diabetes, hypertension, all the bad stuff. All the healthiest people in the world, they eat starch-based diets. Um, rice is a good example. You look at people in countries where they eat lots of rice, skinny. Um, all right, anyways, let's go to the next topic. Avoid meat. Meat is basically about 50% fat and about 50% uh, animal protein. They're both bad. Uh, saturated fat makes you fat, causes atherosclerosis, increases your risk of diabetes. Animal protein increases your risk of cancer once you get over 10% of the diet. You don't want that. The more you learn about meat, the proper reaction to meat is to be afraid of it. Again, up to about 35 years of age, 30 years, depending on your health, your genetics, your luck, you can get away with eating meat, but the older you get, man, it just pushes you down in terms of your health. <clears throat> um, no oils, don't even have one drop. See, you don't wanna be half-assed. If you're half-assed, you're gonna have limited success and you're gonna be sad. By the way, most people never lose the weight. I know tons of fat people, and a lot of them are very nice. They never get skinny, they never do. The only ones who get skinny are the ones that say, that's it, I'm going to become 100% vegan, I'm gonna do all this stuff, okay? And it really, you should have a determined effort because 
When you're fat, it means you're sick. It means you're screwed. You're, you're going to be hypertensive. You're probably going to be diabetic soon enough. And you're going to die prematurely. You're going to be around less to see your potential grandchildren and all that. It's not good. Uh, what else? No sweets. Uh, I recommend no liquid fructose, especially. If you drink your calories, there's no fiber there. You get rapid absorption and it makes you fat. So don't be drinking anything sweet. The only thing you need to drink is water. I also recommend when you're in the early phase of weight loss to not eat any fruits, okay? I know that fruits are good if you're, if you're skinny and you're an athlete and you're running triathlons, you need more calories. Fine, eat more fruits, but I think fruits are nature's way of helping an animal get fat before it hibernates for the winter. Now don't get me wrong, if you work out a lot, some people need more calories. The best way to get extra calories is eat more fruits, all right? But if you're trying to lose weight, fruits, just because of the fructose, even though it's packaged with the good stuff, the fiber and the vitamin C, it still has a tendency to make you fatter. It just does. Don't be drinking beer. Beer can have an estrogenic effect and make you fat. Um, avoid MSG. The reason I say that is MSG is a flavorant. It makes stuff taste good. And a lot of people are addicted to junk food because of MSG and other food additives. So you want to avoid that. You actually, you got to go through your pantry and get anything out that is MSG. Usually it's not going to say MSG. It's going to say something like barley malt extract, malt extract, protein extract, isolated protein, all that kind of stuff. It's got, MSG's got more names than anything. All right, sleep. You got to get your sleep because if you don't sleep, your body perceives that as stress and perceiving it as stress, your cortisol goes up, which tends to make you fat. In addition, you tend to crave sweets. I think that's nature's way of us previously having craved fruits. But the bottom line is you will get fatter if you're not sleeping well. That's when I got fat. Um, no caffeine. I recommend avoiding it because what is caffeine? Caffeine basically mimics acute stress. It elevates cortisol. It decreases your sleep. Even if you sleep the same number of hours on caffeine, you don't sleep as deeply. We talked about how to uh, quit caffeine in some of my other videos. Um, get all the meat, oil, processed food out of your house. It should not be in your house. Um, if it's in your house, you're going to be prone to binge or eat it. You know, talk to your family member, your spouse, whatever. But it's good to be intense about this stuff. You know, everybody who's a high achiever is pretty intense, okay? You focus on a few things and you do what it takes to be successful in those few things. People who are half-assed and say things like, well, I just want to be well-rounded or normal. Well, good. You know what? Being normal in this country means being a fat diabetic, okay? A middle-aged person in this person in this country who's average is quite often an overweight, pre-diabetic or diabetic, okay? There's millions and millions and millions of them. And the only way you're going to get out of that middle age trap, your best way to avoid that trap in middle age, it happens to tons of people, tons of doctors too, is do what I'm talking about here. I'm telling you, I know what works and you can confirm all this on your own by researching it. Okay, what else? Avoid estrogenics. Estrogenics are one of the tricky things that make a lot of people fat. Estrogen uh, and estrogen-like chemicals, they activate something called the PPAR gamma receptor, which is like a fat switch. It basically tells your body that you're pregnant, store weight for the baby. So you, you want to avoid these things. You avoid them, number one, by eating meat because they're in the meat. Number two, because the meat cause, has a glucuronidase enzyme in the related bacteria of the gut that deconjugates estrogen and causes increased reabsorption of estrogen that had been previously excreted by the liver. So I, I go into all that in my other video, so we don't want to take too much time with it. Carbon filter your water to remove estrogenics. There's a lot of estrogenics in water if you don't carbon filter it. I can tell you I've seen a lot of people, you know, especially they're kind of poor. I feel sorry for them. I try to help them, but they don't filter their water and they're all overweight and they all got fibroid tumors and they end up getting hysterectomies at a young age. The way you avoid that is filter your water. Carbon filters are cheap, okay? You can get a cheap carbon filter. Um, walk when you eat. When I eat, I'm always walking around. If somebody's around and I'll talk to them, yeah, I'll talk to them, have a nice conversation, fine. But most of the time, you're by yourself. You eat real quick. I'll walk when I eat, then I'll do those interdental brushes. I'll walk while I'm doing that. If I floss, I'll always floss at night. Uh, I'll walk while I do that, I'll get a couple thousand steps just from dinner, okay? You know, you can't multitask in terms of do two cognitive things simultaneous with your brain, but you can do a physical thing, walking, simultaneous with a visceral thing, visceral means internal organs, eating, and I even listen to an audiobook simultaneously, so I get a cognitive benefit out of it all, all at once. So I'm reading, eating, and exercising at the same time. All right, well anyways, that's how you lose weight fast. Hope that helps.